When it comes to investing in the stock market, understanding the concept of yields is crucial. Yields can provide an investor with a clear picture of the returns they can expect from their investment. However, not all yields are positive. In certain circumstances, yields on a stock can be negative. But which of the following yields on a stock can be negative? This comprehensive guide will delve into this topic in detail. Negative yield. An overview. Negative yield is a concept that can be somewhat perplexing, especially for novice investors. In simple terms, a negative yield implies that an investor is losing money on their investment. This can occur in a variety of scenarios, which we will explore in this section. It's important to note that negative yields are not a common occurrence in the stock market. They typically arise in unusual market conditions or due to specific financial strategies. Understanding these scenarios can help investors navigate the complexities of the investment landscape. Market conditions leading to negative yields. One of the primary factors that can lead to negative yields is a bearish market. In a bear market, stock prices are falling and the overall sentiment is pessimistic. This can result in negative yields as the returns from the investment are less than the initial investment. Another market condition that can result in negative yields is high volatility. In highly volatile markets, stock prices can fluctuate wildly in a short period. This can lead to situations where the returns from an investment are less than the initial investment, resulting in a negative yield. Financial strategies resulting in negative yields. Some financial strategies can also lead to negative yields. For instance, short selling a strategy where an investor borrows shares to sell them with the hope of buying them back at a lower price can result in negative yields if the stock price increases instead of decreasing. Similarly, options trading can also result in negative yields if an investor buys a put option the right to sell a stock at a specific price and the stock price increases, the investor will lose the premium paid for the option, resulting in a negative yield. Three types of yields that can be negative. Now that we have a basic understanding of the conditions and strategies that can lead to negative yields, let's delve into the types of yields that can be negative. It's important to note that not all types of yields can be negative. Some yields, such as dividend yields, cannot be negative as dividends are a distribution of profits to shareholders. However, other types of yields can indeed be negative. Capital gains yield. The capital gains yield, which is the rate at which the price of an investment increases, can be negative. This occurs when the price of the stock decreases over a certain period. In this case, the investor is losing money on their investment, resulting in a negative capital gains yield. It's important to note that a negative capital gains yield does not necessarily mean that the overall yield is negative. If the stock is also paying dividends, these can offset the loss from the decrease in stock price. Yield to maturity. Yield to maturity chem is a concept that applies to bonds rather than stocks. However, it's worth mentioning here as it's a type of yield that can be negative. Yet TM is the total return an investor will receive if they hold a bond until it matures. YTM can be negative in situations where the bond's price is higher than the total payments the investor will receive from holding the bond until maturity. This can occur in a low interest rate environment where investors are willing to pay a premium for bonds with higher interest rates. Managing negative yields. While negative yields can be concerning, they are not necessarily a sign of a bad investment. In some cases, they can be a result of market conditions or specific investment strategies. Understanding these factors can help investors manage their investments effectively. One of the key strategies for managing negative yields is diversification. By spreading investments across a variety of assets, investors can mitigate the risk of negative yields. Additionally, understanding market conditions and adjusting investment strategies accordingly can also help manage negative yields. Finally, it's important to remember that investing is a long-term game. While negative yields can be disheartening in the short term, they do not necessarily mean that the investment is a failure. With patience and a well-thought-out investment strategy, investors can navigate the complexities of negative yields.